Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, eight problems I've completed on assignment. In this video, ninth problem I'm going to explain. So different type of problems we have done on different uh, topics like uh, unbalanced problem, profit maximization problem. But in this ninth problem, I'm going to explain you about uh, restricted assignments. That means some resources cannot be applied on some activities. Restriction is placed. So we are not going to make assignment in that restricted cell. That is a new point in this problem. Ninth problem. So before starting the ninth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. See the ninth problem. Consider a problem of assigning four clerks to four tasks. So it is a balanced problem. 4 by 4. The time in hours required to complete the task is given below. Time is given, so it's a minimization problem. The 4 clerks and 4 tasks. First clerk, if he is assigned A task, he will take 4 hours. B task, he will take 7 hours. C, 5. D, 6. For second clerk, dash. It is not given, the time is not given for A job. That means it is understood that second clerk cannot be able to do a task. Restricted cell. Similarly, third clerk. Third clerk cannot do task B. That is also put a dash. This is the new point in this problem. Restricted assignments. Clerk 2 cannot be assigned to task A and clerk 3 cannot be assigned to task B. Specifically given this sentence. Find all the optimum assignment schedules. So clearly it is given that we will have more than one optimum assignment because all optimum assignment schedules will be same. So multiple optimum solutions we may get. So as usual, first of all, it is a restricted assignment problem. So step one, row subtraction. Subtracting the smallest element in each row from the corresponding elements of that row. The reduced matrix will be the first row the minimum is 4 to so subtract 4 from all the elements 4 minus 4 0 then 7 minus 4 3 5 minus 4 1 6 minus 4 2 second row minimum is 4 so first of all I am putting an infinity sign like this a restricted assignment then 8 minus 4 is 4 7 minus 4 is 3 4 minus 4 0. Then third row minimum is 3. So 3 minus 3, 0. Then restriction is there. Then 5 minus 3, 2. 3 minus 3, 0. Last row minimum is 2. So 6 minus 2, 4. 6 minus 2, 4. 4 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 2, 0. So first step completed. Subtracted the minimum element in each row. Now second table, second step column subtraction subtracting the smallest element in each column from the corresponding element of that column and we'll get the reduced matrix after that drawing minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines so as to cover up all the zeros that is the step now first column in the first column zero is minimum when zero is minimum same values will get because anything minus zero will be same so zero then infinity, then 0, then 4. Then here, the second column minimum is 3. So subtract 3. 3 minus 3, 0. Here 4 minus 3, 1. Then again restriction. Then 4 minus 3, 1. Third column minimum is 1. So 1 minus 1, 0. 3 minus 1, 2. 2 minus 1, 1. 2 minus 1, 1. Last column minimum is 0. So same values you will get 2, 0, 0, 0. That's all. Now we have to draw the minimum number of lines. Horizontal or vertical. Now in this one line we can be able to cover up all the three zeros. Right? And in row also we can be able to cover up in one line three zeros. So only one zero is left. So we can draw vertically or horizontally. Any way you can draw. So I am drawing vertical line to cover up this. All the zeros are covered. How many lines? One, two, three lines. Whereas order of the matrix is four. Since 
number of lines number of lines are not equal to the order of matrix so it is not optimum solution not optimum solution the smallest uncovered element smallest uncovered element is 1 is 1 one. one is the smallest uncovered element so subtract 1 subtract 1 from uncovered elements uncovered elements comma add 1 at the point of intersection at the point of intersection keeping other values same keeping other values same after doing this again you have to draw the minimum number of horizontal or vertical lines to cover up all the zeros the so one is minimum subtract 1 from uncovered elements this is intersection so 0 plus 1 is 1 here covered so nothing should be done 0 0 same values here 2 is the intersection 2 plus 1 3 here restriction nothing should be done 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 1 0 covered same here 0 covered same then restriction then we have 1 minus 1 0 here 0 covered next comes 4 covered same 1 minus 1 0 again 1 minus 1 0 and 0 is covered that's it so we have taken maximum how many zeros we can cover up in a single line row wise 2 2 3 3 3 zeros whereas column wise uh, here is 10 three zeros three zeros three zeros in column three three zeros are there whether you cancel by vertical line or horizontal line so I am taking vertical line like this so one three zeros are cancelled here also three zeros are cancelled here also three zeros are cancelled now only one zero is left whether you draw vertically or horizontally does not matter so any line you can draw so how many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 lines. And order of the matrix is also 4. Therefore, optimum solution is reached. Optimum solution is reached. The optimum assignments are as follows. Are as follows. So what is the optimality test if the number of lines are equal to the order of the matrix then we reached the optimum solution here four lines and four I mean matrix matrix order of the matrix is four now take the same values here one restriction zero four zero zero restriction and zero zero one zero zero three zero 0 0 these are the rest, uh, elements here now we have to give the assignment how to give the assignment if any row there is only one zero assign that zero so here first row two zeros second row two zeros third row three zeros fourth row three zeros so we don't have a single zero so we have to apply arbitrary rule whenever arbitrarily we are assigning then we have multiple solutions for example if first clerk clerk is there yes first clerk is given b task we are making the assignment here so the other zeros in that column and row will get cancelled any other row having a single zero yes second row we have single zero assign this zero cancel the other zeros in that column and row any other row having a single zero yes we have one zero so assign this zero and cancel the other zero in that column lastly only one zero is left one zero is left so we are assigning this zero 
no other zero in that column in the all the zeros are either assigned or cancelled right now what are the assignments 1 to b then 2 to d 3 to a and 4 to c now go to the original problem and find out the time estimate so 1 b 1 b is 7 then 2 d 2 d is 4 3 a 3 a is 3 4 C 4 C is 4 that's all so 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 8 18 so 18 hours is the minimum time to complete all the four tasks if we make this assignment but we have arbitrarily made the assignment now we change our uh, our assignment to get the alternative solution same elements I'm going to take first one then restricted 0 4 0 0 restricted and 0 here 0 1 0 0 3 0 0 0 all the same elements I have taken so any row having a single 0 no we don't have two zeros two zeros three zeros three zeros arbitrarily we have taken one B now I am changing my assumption Instead of 1B, now I want to give the assignment to 1C. 1C. Then other zeros in that column and row will get cancelled. Now any other row having a single zero? No. Second row two zeros, third row two zeros, fourth row two zeros. Again we have to give the alternative solution. So what we will do? Uh, arbitrarily I am assigning 2A. Then 2A if I assign the other zeros in that row and column will get cancelled any other row having a single zero yes fourth row one zero is there so one zero this zero is assigned the other zero in that column and row will get cancelled last three only one zero is left assign this zero cancel the other zeros in that row over optimum assignments completed now first to C second to b third to a fourth to d assignments have changed but the total time taken should remain same now go to the original problem and find out 1 to c is 5 then 2 to b is 8 3 to a is 3 and 4 to d is 2 so 8 plus 2 10 15 18 18 hours you can see here total minimum time 18 hours in the first assignment second assignment also 18 hours in this way whenever we apply arbitrary rule there we have to check another solution right the only condition is every row must have one uh, I mean zero assigned the other zero should be cancelled all the zeros should be either assigned or it should be cancelled no zero is left that is the final solution so this is the end of problem number 9. Only one problem is left that is problem number 10 that will be done inshallah in the next video.